I'm glad I uh, got the um, gutters cleaned out because it's going to start raining here. I can't even tell if this is like fat rain or like baby hail. I don't know yet. Um, working on some wiring and let me tell you what, I'm, I'm hating every second of it. I'm not a fan. Messing around and I broke one of those uh, uh, fittings off in there and I gotta find some needle nose pliers to fit. My, my tool that I used to compress, I broke that just now, so I probably should just walk away. It's not getting any better. Alright, but overall what I've got going is I uh, got everything all wired up. That red line comes in, well it comes back out of the uh, uh, main harness from the panel. And it goes to that little black wire, which is a fusible link, so they're connected. Um, Obviously, these are going to go down to the battery and the alternator um, runs underneath here, goes up to the horn. I only got one horn, there should be two. Um, runs up to the head, headlight, got them on both sides, and it didn't take long. Okay, let me go back under here. here. Inside, I've been messing around with figuring out where everything goes and the wipers I'm not a fan of um, the little plastic things that they gave they don't stay on they actually come off very easily so I want to probably replace those with the more sturdy ones kind of like what I used over here on the defroster I'm having a hard time getting it off now hang on right there one of these crimp that on there um, that's the main power to the fan for the heater. So obviously the wires are already pre-run. Um, I've got the ground for it down there, just kind of laying loose until I figure out where I'm going to put my body ground. Most likely on here. There was another one there. At one point, I can't remember what was on this little hole here, but it goes into the cowl. I might just plug it so I don't get any water dripping in. Um, Got to figure out this light switch. This is from the 1967 Ford. Uh, my original one had all the fuse, uh, barrel fuses in it. But as you can see, I've replaced it with this. Um, easy wire. You know what? It's not easy. I'm just, I'm, I'm frustrated. It looks worse than it really is, but I'm a little bit frustrated with how this goes. Uh, this wire here comes down from the light which I know works but I've got to get that wired into the light switch because when you tw twist that's what turns it on um, so anyway working on a couple things I do need to buy a new uh, insert for that the one I bought from National or uh, I'm sorry not National Post people but from uh, Dennis Carpenter didn't work all right keep rolling Okay, backyard's cleared out. Now it's kind of hard to see. It's late at night. It's about 8 o'clock on Monday, the 10th of September. Um, prepping for Hurricane Flo. Nobody likes it when Flo comes to town. Makes it for a horrible weekend. So, yep, boring, boring, boring. Like, you know, She's after over there. Anyway, it's a little windy right now. We're way far away from this storm now. It went south. Probably can't really tell, but those clouds are booking it. They're just going straight that way right now, which is which way is that? That's south. So right, kind of on the outskirt of some of that uh, hurricane wind that's down in North Carolina right now. Um, let's see, it is Thursday. I know it's really dark. I'm sorry. It just got dark real quick. It's Thursday evening. I took uh, the day off because I have Saturday duty overnight. And I'm in here messing with this. I, uh, I'm over it. <laughs> um, but I got it mostly figured out here. Uh, these are going to my lights. Um, these are all going, well, fuel gauge and rear light. These are going to 
this foot switch. These ones that are just capped off right now, those are all going to the uh, light switch. This is going to the firewall. Um, let's see what else. I have no idea how I'm going to wire this thing up because uh, it doesn't quite match my schematics. So i got to go back and dig through the old Ford manual on that one. We can work on this a little bit more tomorrow. I'll take tomorrow off too. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and close this video off because I've got uh, lots of stuff that I'm going to work on here in the next few days. Technically not tomorrow, but uh, I've got duty tomorrow at work. So I just dropped my dogs off at a co-worker's house. They're going to take care of them while I'm stuck at work. And uh, I'm pretty much having a sleepover is really what it is. Here, um, I've got the fuse box back out of the truck. And I've also got the um, 1967 to 1969 or 1970 uh, switch. So I made a little diagram of uh, positions of one, two, and three because you can pull this knob out. Um, it does twist, so you could do the dimmer for the interior light and all the positions in which uh, these all hook up and when it's going to work. Um, I went through with a megometer, megometer, I can never say that word, but uh, I went through there earlier and determined that a, accessory is always on. B is the battery in, so obviously power going in is automatically going to jump here. Um, when you pull to the first detent, you'll get your parking light. Um, obviously, uh, D1 and D2 are for like the uh, interior overhead light. Um, should have its own fuse, um, but obviously this was put together before something like this was made. Got the uh, ignition switch somewhat figured out. Um, had to uh, figure out where that pigtail system all went, where it goes, how are you going to hook it all up. Alright, this is like the main wire. This is coming in from the uh, solenoid. Alright, I just got, I put a jumper in there so I didn't have to yank it out the truck. Um, this right here, obviously the bulkhead wire plug. So I've got all of those marked out. And obviously these are going to the steering column with various lights. So why I've changed to this style plug, and I'll show you what was here before, um, was this. Little barrel fuse style, okay. Um, it was scary, and it, just looking at it, obviously uh, over time it has obviously been hacked and whatnot, but that's bare all the way down and these uh when i first bought the truck it had caught on fire uh actually my my buddy greg and i were trying to move it from my one home to another home and tried starting it up and sure enough it uh started smoking everywhere um i was playing with the gauge panel um earlier and i do have everything working on here so the lights i took a photo of it earlier i might throw it in right now but i've got uh, all of the lights working on this so that when I go to plug it in and put power to it right here, um, everything will work, okay, as it's supposed to. And then I just have to feed all of this madness out to its various locations, so. Yeah, well, actually, I got a lot done. All right, messy garage. It is what it is. I'll get around to cleaning it. Uh, but at least now I have somewhat of an idea of what's going on with that wire harness. Not that I didn't already, but um, it's more of nailing down specifically, okay, do I've got power going from this point to the, that point through this switch. Um, I just had to sit down and do it and finally got around to it today and actually yesterday too. Uh, we did not get hit by any of that storm. We do have some wind, but nothing compared to what I've seen in obviously in my, my past uh, station in Florida for two years, so we saw plenty of storms. Alaska, we saw a lot of storms, uh, West Coast, whatever. Um, even in New Jersey, if you look back about uh, two years ago, I think it was Hurricane Joaquin. I went home to Oregon, my sister got married, and, and uh, I came back and Hurricane Joaquin had come through. Whatever. Okay, I'm glad that it didn't hit us. Um, that makes my life tomorrow a lot easier. However, I really do hope that everything down in uh, North Carolina and South Carolina works out for the best. I know we've got Coast Guard running down there right now to uh, to go assist as needed. So um, I'm going to do one more video here about all this electrical stuff. And then I'm 
I'm cutting it for that. All right, y'all have a good night, and uh, I will check in with you again when I get time. Take care.